I finally decided to return to the third floor and we are going to put together some boxes for Casey today. I figure if we just chisel this off little by little and put together boxes for Casey to list, eventually there will be nothing left in this room and it'll be all cleaned out and everything will be sold and I'll feel a lot better about this. So I decided something fun to do and to give myself more motivation to get this done and to get this completed would be to pretend like I have no money invested at all in this room and like I just didn't spend any money on this stuff when really I've got a ton of money invested in this room uh, but I thought it would be fun to pretend like it's a clean slate I have no money invested in this stuff we're pretending of course and I'm going to put a running total on every video that I do from the third floor up in this corner um, at the beginning of every video to say how much I've made so far on the stuff that I have cleaned out of this room because I'm sending this stuff with Casey or I'm listing it myself and we're selling it off on eBay. So we're making money getting this stuff listed, getting it sold. And that's something to feel good about. Uh, Casey's gonna be here probably in the next 20 minutes. She might even be here now, I don't know. But I'm gonna put together two boxes of stuff here from this room for her to list. And hopefully we're gonna make some more progress and make some more money up here in the corner because that's what we're supposed to be doing, not sitting on all of this stuff. So here we go. Let's put together some boxes. So I don't technically have to grab anything that's super valuable. We're just going to grab pretty much anything. I've got a box here of stuff. Unfortunately, this was the stuff that we've just got a plate. But you know what? I feel like you could do something with that. Um, yeah, the reason it's in this box is because we were missing the actual little, um, I think this was a domed butter dish, to be honest, and I think we're missing the dome. But I feel like Cosmos Stemless Daisy, that could be saleable, and you know, maybe you could just use it as a little serving dish. So, that's gonna go in our box. Boom, that's one item out of the way. Progress is being made here today. We're making money. Let's do this Victorian strawberry pitcher. So I, I don't know if you guys watched the original video from this room. Also, I don't know why there is a paper towel in there that needs to come out. <laughs> uh, but I actually had this listed on eBay. This is one of the few items that did not sell. Uh, you guys ask all the time, do you ever have items that do not sell when you put them to auction? This is one of them. This did not sell. We listed it up $4 starting bid never sold. There's no chips, no cracks. It's Victorian era. Uh, it is, I believe it's blown. Eh, probably blown in mold, actually. I see a seam there. I think the handle is applied, but it's got painted strawberries on it. It's perfect. We're coming into summer someday. The days just seem to drag on, but it's going to happen eventually. Hmm. That beaded bird. I feel like I've met my match with this beaded bird. Maybe it's time to say goodbye. So this is uh, Yoruba tribe. It's an African beaded bird. It is called a fetish. And I believe it would have gone on their hat. You know what? I'm not going to send out with Casey. That's something I have got to do myself. Here we have a sauce boat. I was corrected in one of our recent videos. I'm told that these are actually sauce boats because they have two little uh, pourer things that are actually those aren't pourers those are for ladles so I was corrected what else do we have got these these little guys those have been listed they've at least been in our scheduled before they never went live it's unfortunate because he has a broken little drumstick if you can see that and it looks like she maybe had something in her hand. She's got a little hole there. Like maybe she had something at one point. I don't know what it was then. But yeah, she was holding something. But she's otherwise in good condition. I do think that these are Japanese. I think they're made to look like German figurines. But I don't think that they are German. I'll put those in the box too. This was at one point our to be listed shelf, but then you know stuff happened and stuff didn't get listed. This is cool. Let's do this. It's 
kind of like a little basket weave dish. Get fruits on it. Uh, yeah, made in Japan. I've got lots of little figurines. Eventually, I think these just need to go in a lot. Alright. Made in Poland. That's kind of cute. Might as well throw that in. That's probably just a souvenir piece. Yeah, let's put it in there. Why not? This one is... I have no idea what that says. He's kind of cool. I guess you pull the string and he his arms and stuff go up, so we'll put him in there too. We've got some chicken of the sea. Some pepper shakers. Fortunately, this guy's got a little chip on his fin. Ah, oh, so does that one now. No, just joking, it doesn't. Uh, so when we first got these, we actually had two pairs in them. And what we didn't realize is the pairs are actually blue and yellow. We had them two blues and two yellows and it turns out that the pairs are listed alternating so it's yellow and blue and yellow and blue we may as well list some more purses out of our purse hoard get this taken care of this was a cute little vera i think this is watercolor i think that's the same one we just got recently Juliet was going to keep this and then she forgot about it, so we're going to list that. Uh, this is one of the bins. I thought this was fun just because it had a little, I don't know if that's like a mountain lion or what it is. Fortunately, it does have some wear on it. But hey, get rid of it, that's what I say. And that's just a vintage purse. I don't know throw that in there too so we'll get rid of three of our purses and then we only have two left all right so we've got a little luster wear this is english luster wear so you can tell because it's this copper um it's not marked on the bottom but we will also be listing this let's check out what we've got down here looks like apple agate it's a slag glass, you can tell because there's a swirl in the glass. A lot of the times they'd use multiple colors, but this is kind of just a blue. That's probably a, a planter of some sort, just a shallow planter, so we'll have those both listed. Might as well list this bowl because it's kind of a spring green. I like that. So we'll list that. So this, it's not marked, but it's got spring colors. We'll list that as well. We're making progress. We're making money. Unfortunately, we don't have any more cups to go with these little saucers. Um, this is a sweetheart. Nonax, I think is what it is. Oh, it's got a little chip on the edge. No! Maybe list that. Stay there for now and see what else we've got in this box. Yes. Oh. Ooh, those are pretty. I'll throw those in. Alright. Let's add those to the box. Okay, so the box isn't quite full yet, so I just figured I'd grab a few random things just to fill up the box. I don't know. Um, I want to make sure that we fill the box as much as possible. So what do we have down here? Hmm. EAPG picture. Is that gonna somehow, maybe, maybe? I think we can finagle that in the box. We're gonna get it in. Here we go. We've built a box. The box is done. We're gonna put the lid on. I feel like we accomplished something. Ta-da! Well, Drew just texted me and said, Casey is here. So we are going to bring down the one box that we were able to build and uh, we'll keep building a few more boxes. She'll need more stuff by next week. I'm sure of it and we will have that ready for her, but I'm going to bring this box downstairs, go say hello to Casey. And uh, oh no, Walter is coming up to retrieve the box. He's gonna do the heavy lifting.
Are you here to do heavy lifting? Yeah, where's the box? Right there. That's my box? Yes, thank you. I'll buy it all. It's all lovely stuff. Yes, yes, thank you. That was a good endorsement. Yeah. I appreciate that, Walter. I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. All right. Yes. Keep going. You're on a roll. All right. Make sure you leave a like too. Yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. <laughs> He's a really good kid. Um. Anyway, we are going to head downstairs. Well, I'm going to head downstairs. I'm going to go say hi to Casey. I'm going to leave you guys up here in this room, in the dark, and I'll be right back. All right, well, it's been a few hours. Casey's gone. I finally got the motivation to come back up here. I mean, I really have to, ha I have to reach down deep to find the motivation to come up here and get to work. But here we are again. I'm going to put together another box for Casey. We are going to build a box and uh, have it ready for her the next time she needs a box. And I, I then had this amazing idea it was this brilliant idea because i'm trying to come up with ideas for this time that we can't really do much of anything else but come up with ideas and i thought you know what let's put together a mystery box for sue we've got all this stuff like stashed away and i think we've got enough asian stuff sue loves asian porcelain and i think we've got enough asian porcelain that we could put together a box a mystery box. I'm going to do it off camera, but I'm going to put together a box for Sue and then I'm going to drop it off at her house and she can go through it on one of her videos over on the Sumi channel um, and <laughs> kind of go through that. I think that would be fun for her because uh, I think she's going a little stir crazy, maybe is the right word. And I think it would be fun for her to find some new stuff to go through and kind of talk to you guys about. So. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's what friends are for. And I've got all of this stuff in this room. So let's put together a box for Sue and a box for Casey. Let's get to it. Here we go. Mmm. This one still has the Goodwill sticker on it, even. Uh, we are going to put it in this one. It's a nice piece of uh, pink satin glass. It's satin because it's not shiny. That's kind of that finish. And it is painted. It's got some nice flowers on it. So we'll stick that in there. That is the first piece in the box. That's a good start. Stepping over stuff. I think I'm going to add these. Um, do these actually have the name of the pattern on there? They do not. I'm going to have to, I know the last time I showed these, my viewers told me in the comments what this pattern is, uh, but I cannot remember what he told me. Oh man. Okay. Oh, there's a snap. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I knew that would happen eventually. Ah, okay. I'm going to set this box over here. That is the box we are going to build for Sue. We lost all this stuff. What is this stuff? This is like a little kitty thing. Oh my gosh, isn't it fun what you find? This is all like miniature stuff. I don't even know what I have here. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. I I wouldn't even know. I'm gonna put them over here. I'm actually gonna list those myself. I'm not gonna give those to Casey to list. Got a broken little piano. Fortunately, it's missing a leg. That's a good chicken, I think. Parrot. This stuff, I don't know if this is railroad stuff or. What is this? Oh, it's marked. 1973, age 89. He made that. He must have made that. I know this stuff is stuff that I would be tempted to sell in a lot, including him. I think this is all Andrew. I think this is all railroad stuff, and that would be Andrew, including the little kitty. That's like hand painted. That is an artwork right there. These, unfortunately, are salt and pepper shavers. No longer have their pieces. So these would have been sets. 
including this one. This one would have had a trash can. It would have been like a trash can here. No longer has a trash can. Um, these guys would have been hanging off of a post. They are also salt and pepper stickers. Don't have the post. I don't know what this guy would have had, honestly. I'm not sure. Um, oh, you know what? This is. Was it a trash can or was it a beehive? I'm not sure. Um, and then, where are we? Oh, this guy. Same deal here. Would have been holding either a trash can or a beehive. But that's why we still have these, because we had a whole set of them, and these were the ones that were left over that did not have anything left to pair them with. I've got the koala. I guess it's time to say goodbye to this. Juliet has long forgotten it. When I first brought it home, she wanted to keep it. And then she forgot about it and never remembered, so she doesn't really need it. I've got this piece of carnival. Ugh. Um, so unfortunately this would have had a lid and it no longer has a lid, so this would be sold lidless. People love seeing this in the box. The label. This cream of sugar. So I still have this set. I, f I believe we set off, we, well, I think we sold off a few of these. This Winfield, I believe it was Dragonflower. We still have two pieces left and they were the larger pieces. And I think this was back when I was doing the shipping and I was just like, heck no. Okay, so this box down here. I know there's some good stuff down here for spring. And so, actually, you know what? We could probably list this. I don't know why not. Yeah, why not? I'll list that. Where are they? Oh, they're not there. oh wait, there they are. In here, we have these little trinket boxes. I don't know if you guys have been with the channel long enough to remember these. But we bought these as a set. And they each come with the, like a little trinket inside of them. And they're, they're all there. And they also have this white picket display that actually also comes with them. And these are put out by National Home Gardening Collection. They're all made in China, but um, we have the entire collection. And... Uh, yeah, so I think that uh, these would sell really well right now because it is springtime. There's a lot of people gardening right now to pass the time, so I think this would be fun to list right now. I think this would be a good a good choice to list. A little bird bath. Let's see, they all have little, and, I, and I'm not gonna unwrap them all because they all are all wraps, but they all have different little trinkets inside. One. So I'm going to add that and we will sell it with the little picket display. All right, so I'm going to clear off this shelf a little bit. Uh, this right here, I know a lot of you are like, oh my gosh, little piggy. Uh, the little piggy, unfortunately, is missing a leg. That's why he's sitting up there. So I will probably throw him into a lot of uh, broken figurines. That's what I've been doing lately is just throwing a whole lot together and then sell them all together. Um, that seems to be a good thing. Now this thing right here, I don't know if you remember, this was back when we were watching Stranger Things and uh, we were making fun of this at the Goodwill. I actually have somebody who wanted to buy it and I had it all boxed up. I'm not sure how it ended up back in here, but here it is. Um, and it's back on the shelf. <laughs> but I think we're gonna throw this into the box with stuff for Casey. This is a, I think it's a little condiment. I would say sugar, but with, with that, I feel like that's more of a condiment spoon than it is a sugar spoon. I don't know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, now this right here, this is a silver overlay with florals and we've got the sugar to go with it so unfortunately they do have a tarnish that's usually to be expected but there is some wear where it's completely worn off 
that may be, be because somebody tried to polish it and if you use the wrong kind of polish I mean this is such thin silver and what the polish is actually doing is eating away the top layer of silver to polish it so it's possible somebody used an abrasive uh, silver cleaner and may have just taken off the silver completely um, but yeah there is a little bit of silver missing there Germany. However, they are not marked and they do not have sausage to go with them. And we've got this new, new. I had gotten this for Juliet. I believe this is a Fitzgerald Floyd piece. Yeah, it is. Uh, unfortunately, it does have that chip there. That's why I picked it up because I had intended to give it to Juliet. She's long forgotten about it, but. I might keep on holding on to it for a little while longer. Uh, we've got this. I think this is just, uh, I don't I don't believe it's Fostoria, but where am I gonna put it? Let's sit it over here for now. This piece, oh, I told you guys I was holding on to this in hopes of finding a saucer, but I don't think it's gonna happen. This piece, again, is just a saucer. There's no teacup. It's got a really neat design. Uh, it's kind of got this spider web design. That's why I liked this. That's why I grabbed this. That spider web design. I thought it was neat. Worth listing. Now, Sue had suggested that this was a Raku. I'm not sure. You guys let me know. I remember buying this. I think it sold and didn't get paid for. I think our box is full. Uh, I'm going to try to rearrange it and then I may go grab another box and work through another box. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>